Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just got home from Virginia and if you guys were watching Bassmaster.com, you know that I had a very, very bad tournament at, uh, at Bullard's or not Bullard's, uh, Bugs Island. Um, man, uh, we ended up uh, finishing 163rd and I know I missed posting a video about it yesterday. It's not because I was trying to hide or anything. Uh, I want to be able to, to report back to you guys, good, bad, great, and terrible. And this tournament was definitely terrible. We ended up catching two limits, um, but they were very, very small limits. The first day I had 813, and then the second day I actually had 713, but got a one minute penalty due to my misunderstanding of the check-in rule for bass. Um, because, you know, MLF, it's essentially as soon as you set down in the no wake zone, uh, that's your time. Um, but bass is a little bit different. Um, and they, uh, they um, require that you have put the little fob in the net. And that kind of clocks you in at check-in. So I was like 30 seconds late. Not a, a huge deal in the grand scheme of things. I mean... Hopefully I won't regret that that those those 10 extra points or whatever it was at the end of the year. But honestly, um, man, uh, I definitely did a lot of damage to the, the points this season. Um, so really disappointed about the week. But here's a weird thing about this tournament at Bugs Island. Um, I know this is going to sound really uh, odd because, you know, as competitors, you know, uh, you're not supposed to be okay with a finish like this. And I'm definitely not okay by any stretch of the imagination. I hate that I had a finish like this. I'm very irritated, irritated and I'm fired up. I'm mad about it. And, uh, and so I'm motivated for the next tournament. But what's funny about this, this tournament is that I felt like I fished good. Um, uh, I felt like I was making okay decisions with what I had, um, obviously there was things that I missed. Uh, I didn't lose any fish. I didn't have any mechanical failures. There was no external challenges that kept me from doing well. It was a hundred percent my fault. Um, you know, that, that I wasn't able to catch bigger fish. Um, and what I've ended up discovering after the fact, which is always frustrating when you, you know, hindsight's 2020 20, and it's really frustrating to learn what other guys are doing because you're just like, gosh, it's that simple. Um, I essentially just, where I was at fault this, this week is I really didn't put myself in the right area of the lake. So the conditions at uh, Bugs Island were exactly what I was looking for, minus, you know, a cold front. I was looking for flooded bushes and we got a lot of high water. It almost got to, to I think to I think it was like at 303.7, which is really, really high. All the bushes are in the water and then some. And I did a lot of of looking for good flipping areas that I like to to look for. You know, stained water, you know, that lake is generally clear, but there's a few areas like um, the Grassy Creek area and up the river that I looked at to to flip. And usually, you know, because flipping is my thing, um, usually what happens is you can you can go around and and flip areas that look good. Um, and if you get a bite or two, you end up, uh, you know that the bite is on. Now you may not initially go to the areas that are the deal, you know, the areas that you'll ultimately fish the tournament, but you can at least get a bite here and there to be able to key in on the fact that, yeah, there is a flipping bite that did not happen to me in practice. I was completely in the wrong areas, uh, and for, and it looked beautiful. I mean, it looked perfect. But um, that region of the lake just did not produce. Uh, and so many guys that, that were fishing around me had the same exact thing happen. Um, and uh, it's about to rain right now. But, but what ended up happening is those guys that, that fished or, or flipped during the tournament um, were catching them down the lake. And they weren't just catching a few. A lot of them were catching up to 30 fish a day um, to catch what they, they got and bigger fish. So I just never, ever saw that in practice. And it's because I didn't, 
uh, I just assumed that since I wasn't able to, to, to easily get on a flipping bite in, in certain areas, that it just wasn't happening on the entire lake. So big, big mistake on my part. And it's one that I will not quickly forget because this was a tournament that I actually th thought like I had a, the best chance to win this season if I got water in the bushes. And then look what happens, uh, you know, and and it's just a reminder man you got to focus on your strengths don't get distracted with all those other things you've got to give your strengths their due time and that's what i didn't do this week i mean i i did fish my strengths during the tournament right so i i primarily threw a spinner bait which again was another deal like the leader i i understand and many of the guys in the top 40 were just solely fishing a spinnerbait, but in a different part of the lake. My part of the lake, there was 14 inchers. Uh, other parts of the lake, they were able to get those big bites. I only saw one fish that was in the three pound class and all the other ones, I think my next biggest fish was one pound, 10 ounces. It was so frustrating. Um, but, you know, and it's just, w I've had a lot of tournaments where I bombed because I just had no idea what was going on. Um, and I was on the wrong thing completely, but very few like this one where I was actually on the deal or at least two of the right deals for that fishery and ended up uh, bombing completely because I just wasn't in a certain area, a certain region of the lake. So obviously missed some things. I'm not, I'm not a complainer. I'm not going to sit here and blame anything else. hundred percent my fault. Um, but, uh, you know, that's how it goes. And, and because I can take credit for this major, major, uh, mistake, this big bomb, uh, hopefully I'll be taking credit for a big comeback at Wheeler in two weeks, but who knows, you know, we're going to go out there. We're going to learn from the mistakes that we made at, at Bugs Island and we're going to move forward. There's nothing else we can do about it. Now we just got to really start you know, making those, those top tens and, and top forties, uh, on a regular basis throughout the rest of the season, because we're still in it for the elite series, but we need to make sure that we don't have any more slip ups. So we our our wiggle room as far as points is gone. We, we completely got rid of that. So now we need to make sure that we are completely on our a game focused, fishing our strengths and uh and keeping all, all that other noise everything else that's that isn't uh you know going to help me focus on my strengths is complete you know uh, noise and and uh and it's just gonna distract me but anyways guys got home uh i, I can't wait to see the the baby and my wife and uh yeah you know we're gonna regroup in a week or for a week um, I'm going to do a little bit of fishing this week, I think, out on Chick. Um, but anyways, guys, sorry I missed a video, posting a video yesterday. I was really exhausted. I also need to give a big thank you to uh, Evelyn and Martin at the Sunnyside Sisters Bed and Breakfast. Uh, they were our hosts this week and wonderful hosts. Um, the Dutch couple really enjoyed myself over there. Beautiful, uh, you know, room and and they were very hospitable, so I appreciate them big time. And I also appreciate the town of Clarksville, Virginia. They were awesome too, and I can't wait to go back. If you guys ever go there, you gotta go to the Bugs Island Brewery. That place is legit. The beer's great, and also the food is amazing. The uh, cheeseburger tacos, the Keys cheeseburger tacos, so good, um, but Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping up throughout the week. Sorry I didn't log a good finish this week, uh, but uh, that's what makes this sport interesting, and we're going to keep on plugging away. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Trust the process, even when it doesn't work for you, and I'll see you guys out on the water. Take care.